In this video, I'm going to help you answer the question, am I taking my pressure washing business serious enough? It may hurt some feelings, but I think that in the end, we'll be glad that we had this conversation. Don't go anywhere. Out in Ohio where the rents are fly. Got a man named Mike, he's your wash guy. House wash, roof wash, driveway clean. Mike Carmody's king of pristine scenes. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rinse. I'm the guy who loves to talk all things pressure washing. And in this video, we're going to answer the question, are you serious about your pressure washing business? I'm really excited about this one. At the end of today's video, we're going to head back into the studio and my exclusively fresh family members are going to take a hard look at all of the analytics of this job. We're going to talk about customer acquisition costs, we're gonna talk about how I got this job. We're gonna break all the numbers down, income and expense. At the end of this video, you'll know things like, how much SH did I use? How much did that cost me? By percentage, what did my insurance cost for this job alone? All that stuff at the end of the video, you don't wanna miss that. October the 1st, 2024 is our big launch date for the exclusively fresh channel. I'm very excited about creating a community of washers who have a goal, and that's to not only learn all things pressure washing, but to experience all the ups and downs together. We'll have community calls where that we all gather together on this. Oops. What's that all about? It sounds like I ran out of gas, but I know that I have plenty of gas. Right off the bat, looky there. Somehow or another, my gas line got up underneath my machine. I need to bolt this down. I have it bolted in three places, but watch this. That's all it needed, right there. <laughs> all right, we're good. Things happen. Where was I? Oh yes, October the 1st, 2024. We'll have our big launch party. That's this coming Tuesday. And in that party, we're gonna sign people up, creating this community of washers that I believe is going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Between now and then, I'll be making another video where I break down all of the costs and all the benefits for all three tiers. You'll want to be looking for that. So let's help answer the question, are you taking your pressure washing business serious enough? I want to begin by actually thanking some people. Over the years, I've had family, close friends, and maybe even some of you on the Fresh Rinse Media channel who have very politely expressed your concern that maybe I'm taking pressure washing too seriously. I want to say two things about that very quickly. First of all, how awesome is it that I have family and friends who would approach me and ask me that question? There are those in this world who perhaps are jealous and feel like they need to have that conversation out of jealousy. That hasn't been my experience. My experience has been that people who love me dearly show great concern that perhaps I eat, sleep, and drink my business. And I can't help but to be grateful for that. So that's the first thing. The second thing I wanna say is, how awesome is it that over the years, I have created an atmosphere within my relationships where that people do not feel as if they're walking on eggshells. In other words, they feel like they can come to me over these things. I'm not gonna be upset. I am gonna be appreciative of their concern. And in the end, that's what relationships are all about. If people feel like they can't come to you and talk to you about potential problems in your life, then we just haven't done a good enough job of setting an atmosphere of comfortability. We need to do that in our relationships. And then the third thing I want to say about that is that no one in your life, other than maybe your close family members, 
should have enough runway in your life to convince you that you are or are not taking your business serious enough. The fact of the matter is no one on YouTube is paying your bills. Chances are your extended family members aren't paying your bills. Perhaps only your spouse has that kind of runway. Not me, not anyone else. You have to decide if you're taking your business serious enough. But it is a legitimate question. I think each one of us have to ask ourselves that question. Am I taking my business serious enough? Is it a business? Is it a job? Or is it a hobby? Some of you in this pressure washing community would make a great employee, but you make a terrible business owner. Ouch, that kind of hurt. If that hurt, it's only because there's some reality to it. And there's no shame in not being a good business owner. Every business needs employees. Think of it like the factory. Maybe you came from the factory or the warehouse or what have you, and you decided you wanted to be a business owner. But ask yourself, if I were working at the factory and I had people that were looking to my leadership for their own livelihoods, could they make it? Could they survive based on how I treat my current business? I want to reiterate once again that no one should be able to tell you if in fact you are or are not taking your business serious. But there are some telltale signs that I think are universal as to whether you make a good business owner or you make a good employee. But there's no shame in being an amazing employee, but just being a not so good business owner. In fact, no doubt there are some who are watching this video that I would love to have you as a house washer. I mean, you're meticulous, you enjoy washing homes and businesses, like you would make a great employee for Mike's pressure washing. I just wouldn't want you running the business. If you are an owner operator and you wake up each morning kind of looking for an excuse not to go to work, <laughs> something's not right about that picture. Maybe you just need accountability and you would make an amazing employee because you got to be there at eight o'clock and you're going to clock out at 3.30 or what have you. And maybe that's just best for you and you would serve a business owner 100% and it would be an amazing relationship. But as a business owner, if you're looking to get out of work, that's not healthy. I think we all get burnt out from time to time. That's just part of it. Like we work a lot and we do a lot of the same things over and over and over. Burnout is inevitable. But we're not talking about burnout here. We're talking about simply not even wanting to wash, not even wanting to advertise, not wanting to answer the phones, not wanting to put out the fires tired of nagging customers and just really not wanting to do it anymore. That's an issue that needs to be dealt with. So one question that we can ask ourselves that is quite universal is this. If I were an employee, how serious would I want my boss, my CEO, the people who are in charge of my salary, and my employment, how serious do I want them to take the business? Well, for starters, I want them to know all the numbers, all the analytics. A good business owner knows his or her numbers. We should be able to answer those kind of questions. What is our income and expense report for every week, maybe even every day? Do we know that? Are we taking a look at those numbers? What is my profit loss margin? That's important. Customer acquisition costs. Like how much is it costing me to gain every customer that I have? That's important. 
what is my closing rate and how can I improve on that? Do you have that written down? Like, is that data charted and ready for you to view at any time? It should be. I want my CEO of the company that I work for to know those things. If he knows those things, it's a good indication that he takes things seriously. And I feel good about working for someone who knows those numbers. Let's suppose that the CEO of the factory calls in all the employees and he sets us all down in the cafeteria and he says, things are not looking good. Numbers are down, sales are down, production is down, and we've got some things to consider. I believe that would make you nervous. <laughs> But thank God he knows the numbers. And then someone is brave enough to ask the question, well, how much longer do we have? And he's able to say, oh, we're good. We've been saving up enough money that we could lack production for the next three years. Your job is secure. In that case, I'm so glad that this guy knows his numbers and that he takes his job seriously. All of a sudden, I'm glad that he's a maniac about his job. I'm glad he's taking it serious. I'm glad he's losing some sleep over his business because my family is dependent upon that. Well, let me tell you, your family is dependent upon your business. If you don't like that, that's okay. You, again, you may just be a better employee than you make a business owner. One of the things that someone kind of gently hinted around to is perhaps an indication that I was taking my business too seriously is that I wear my Mike's pressure washing shirt to the gym in hopes of picking up more business. Yeah, that might be overkill. But guess what? I've been a member at the gym for three weeks. I've landed three jobs out of multiple conversations. In three weeks, I've landed three jobs averaging $750 a piece. My gym membership is paid for for the next decade or something. Maybe not that long. But here's the thing. If you see me at the gym and I'm wearing this shirt, and you need a pressure washer, you're glad that I wore that shirt. You're glad that I took it seriously. And if you do not need a pressure washer, you probably won't even notice. A while back, we had a neighborhood yard sale and my wife and I both wore Mike's pressure washing shirts while going around spending money on needless things. We walked around the neighborhood for a few hours, and guess what? I landed two jobs at 400 and some dollars a piece. I made $900 that day. <laughs> of course, I spent all of it on needless junk, but that's another story. On that note, you know who doesn't say that I take my business too serious? My wife. Because every day at 4.30, we get in the pool, usually fall asleep for nearly an hour, and then we get out, have a home-cooked meal with one another, and after that, we take a walk every single night around the block. Then we sit down and watch Hallmark movies till 11 o'clock. And she's the only one that I really listen to on the matter. I just confess to watching Hallmark movies. And I'll admit, this new series is pretty good. But the company's even better.
there's a lot to be said about that. In future videos, we will talk about it some more. But I want to finish with three very important questions. The first one is this. Are you happy with your business plan, your business model? Are you happy with it? If you are, then that's all that really matters. It doesn't really matter what I think or anyone else thinks. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. The second question is this. Can you describe your business plan, the one that you are happy with? Can you describe it in a way that would cause others to want to buy it with passion and enthusiasm and excitement and in business terms where others would say, that's something that I would, want, I would be interested in. And then thirdly, if you wanted to sell your business plan, could you? Would anybody buy it? That's how you know if you're taking your business seriously. Okay, at this point, I invite my exclusively fresh membership back into the studio. We're going to break down all the analytics. This is going to be fun. This is something we're going to do at least once a month on projects just like this. All right, my name's Mike. They call me the Fresh Rents, and I'm out. Remember the name.